Hey guys, it's Casey Ann, and um, today's video is honestly just going to be something super incredible. I'm sorry if you guys don't like my hair and my makeup today. I thought I looked good, so that's all that matters, because whatever. Um, no, but it's first time I felt confident in like a really long time. Um, but today's video is based on a special someone in my family. Um, today is a really, really big day for them um it may not mean a whole lot to them right now because you know they're just like I want it to be over with I want to be done and blah 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 and I get it but today my brother Dustin is graduating high school um and now let me just give you like a tiny little background on my brother okay so Dustin was I think he was like f seven six or seven when we first found out that he had autism, epilepsy, Asperger's, and all of that stuff. I think that's, like, how old he was when we all discovered it. Um, so, he's obviously got disabilities. He's not as bad as others, but he's definitely gone through so much where he probably couldn't have graduated, like, two years ago. Um, because of how much school he missed for doctor's appointments, his anger issues, because he is just, he has anger issues, um, I think he's got, like, a bit of depression and a lot of anxiety, um, but that also comes in with his autism, he's got lots of anxiety because he doesn't like bright lights, and so today might be a little bit difficult for him, um, but he's always been more, leave me alone, leave me alone, and, um, that's okay. So he's missed a lot of school when he was younger, middle school, a lot of elementary school, a lot of middle school, and a lot of high school. And high school is difficult because he had to be in special classes because he couldn't be in regular classrooms because he was either too smart for it or couldn't be around a lot of the mean kids in the class because let's let's be real, like everybody knows high school's full of jerks, okay? I know. I know. Shocker. People bullied him. And so now he was put into a special class where he just had to go half day or, you know, whatever, and he was put around kids that were just like him. Um, and that kind of helped as well. So today... He is graduating high school today, and um, I think it was like three or four months ago when my mom got a call or an email or something uh, about how because he missed so much school, he might receive a modified diploma. Now, I don't know what a modified diploma is. I think it's like a regular diploma, except there's modifications to it, meaning he didn't attend he didn't get as many hours as he should have gotten in school or something like that. Um, I really don't know, like, what a modified diploma is. I'm just, like, guessing because um, I've never had one, obviously. I've never really seen someone in my family get one. Um, but we also thought he might have to just get his GED. We weren't sure if he was going to finish school because for a while he just didn't want to go to school anymore, so he wouldn't go to school and because he was in a different facility, because he lives um, in a group home, um, he made his own decisions. And when he turned 18, he became an adult, so he can make his own choices and make his own decisions and, you know, all that stuff under certain um, rules that his uh, house provided for him, as well as rules set forth with my mom. Um... But I'm not really going to get into that because that's not really what's important right now. But what is important is that he ended up going back to school. And uh, he was passing all of his classes. He had all A's and a B or like all A's and a, or like a, and like A's, B's, and C's or something like that. And that's really incredible for him because, you know, he learns differently than everyone else. He's really, really good at science and astronomy, like stars and space. He's really good at that stuff. And he's good at math. So, um, he's just, like, genuinely a really smart kid, right? So, he's graduating with a regular diploma because my mom sat down with my dad and was, like, they're saying that because Dustin didn't do enough hours in school, he'll be given a choice of getting a modified diploma. And my mom and my dad flipped out. They were so mad. They were like, no, my son, our son, deserves, a." Uh, a regular diploma because he went to a regular school and he dealt with all of these regular people and 
he's just like everyone else, like, you're not going to treat him differently, basically. And so now he has a regular, well, he's going to be getting his regular diploma tonight. I am so, 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 so proud of him um, because, you know, like I said, a lot of us didn't even think he was going to finish high school. We all thought he was going to get his GED. And he is the first one in our blood family, like my mom's side, Dustin's dad's side. Um, I don't really consider my dad, obviously, but <laughs> Dustin's dad's side um, to graduate high school. Um, I think Dustin's dad graduated, uh, but I don't think he went to college, and Dustin wants to go to college. He's already, like, signed up, and he's ready to go. He's going to go through community college, which, oh my god, is, I don't want to cry. <laughs> I really don't want to cry. It's a really big thing for him. Like, he has gone through so much. He has went to hell and back, and yet today... He is graduating with a regular diploma, not a modified diploma. Uh-uh. Hell no. He said bye to that with a regular diploma because he did school like regular kids, like you and I. I, if I was to graduate now, would receive a modified diploma because I did as much schooling as the next kid. I did as much work as the next kid. I worked as hard and graduated with good grades as the next kid did. So he's getting his regular diploma today, and I this video is just to you. Dustin, you are an amazing person, and I know that you love inventing. So go out there, go to college, get your damn degree, and go build stuff. Go invent a time machine. Go invent a machine that can go to space where you don't need to worry about floating or go make life happen on Mars. Like, go do what you're passionate about because you know what? I believe in you. Mom believes in you. Dad believes in you. And to all the people who doubted you, F them, man. I'm sorry. I'm just so happy for you. Like, F them. They, they told you that you weren't going to graduate, that you were too stupid to graduate, that you were always angry and you were never going to do that, blah, 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 blah. Tell them to go screw themselves because show them your diploma and be like, biatch, I did it. I graduated. And you know what else? I did it. I did it. No one can just give you a diploma because they felt bad for you. No one feels bad for you for having autism. Because, dude, you graduated. Like, what? Oh, my gosh. By the time you see this, you'll probably already have graduated. It's been, like, a week now because I don't know when you watch my videos. But I know you watch them because you commented on a couple. So, you know what? Shout it from the freaking rooftops, dude, that you are done with school. And you have your regular diploma. And rub it in everyone's face. Go to college and get a job. Because you did it. And we're all, I'm so freaking proud of you. So congratulations for graduating. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me, but I will be screaming in the stands for you. Screaming. Top of my lungs, bloody murder. Screaming. Your name. I'm like crying. <laughs> um, I am so proud of you. And... I never want you to think that I'm not because you did this on your own and hell yeah, man, good for you because I'm going to be following in your footsteps right after because I'm going to be a senior now. So I'm going to copy you. I'm going to graduate on time with my class of 2018 and I will get my diploma and I will show you that I did it too. And we can hold our diplomas up in the air and be like, we did it. We're the first like Evans kids to do it, and except I'm an Asher now, but you know what? It doesn't matter. I am so proud of you for all of the shit you have been through and the fact that you continue going through all these changes. You are doing incredible. Never give up, please. Don't drop out of college because it gets hard. Don't get mad and quit your job because people are mean or you just don't like the way it goes or the hours are difficult, or the lunch breaks are short. Prove to people that you can do it. Continue to do it. Because when you invent something and you become a billionaire, they're going to look at you. Oh my gosh. 
All right, my bad. Sorry, my mom called, and it was about my brother and stuff. Sorry about that, Dustin. Anyways, I don't remember where I was at or what I was saying, but I'm really proud of you, and um, I love you so incredibly much, and you've overcome so much in your life, and I really want you to continue. Um, be a great, be the greatest inventor there ever was. Invent the world again, and shoot for the moon, because if you don't land on the moon, you'll at least land in the stars. And the galaxy is calling your name, dude. So, amen to you. God freaking bless, because you are an outstanding person. And I am just, I can't tell you enough how proud I am of you. Like, I don't, I don't have words. I'm just so proud. So, go out there and show the world what you're made of. Don't give up you need help, I'm always a phone call away. We're literally right down the road from each other, so come home and I will help you if you need help. Because I look up to you and I want you to know that I'm beyond proud of you. And I'm not just saying that because you're family. I'm serious. I'm so proud of you. You have done this. You graduated. Why? Because you did it on your own. And honestly, you should thank God because he has had your back since day one as well. So God is good and you are great as well. And I am so proud of you. Congratulations on your graduation. I love you so much. Bye.